I sing of a bush ranger who struck his brow and wept. I never would have been taken had not that peacock slept. Harry Powell went ranging in 1855, told the troopers who hunted him they never would take him alive. He held up the mail at beach worth the same at Dovins too. They handed over their purse of gold, there was not else to do. Harry Power had a friend who went by the name of Quinn, who had a peacock which he swore would let no stranger in. Harry Power would sleep in the lookout on the crest, and if a trooper ventured near, the peacock broke his rest. So he went to riding and robbing far and wide. At night he returned to his hollow tree and hid away inside. The soldiers often hunted him over hills and vales. They came too close in Victoria, he rode to New South Wales. At last the police were angry and said, we'll take this man. Send Superintendent Nicholson, who will take him if anyone can. So Superintendent Nicholson and Sergeant Montefort set after Harry Power that while he bowled out law. They came to Squatter Quinn's home and cautiously they crept. And twas the only night of the year the weary peacock slept. The peacock slept, the dogs were quiet, the troopers now could see. Harry Power's hideaway, that famous hollow tree. They came to Harry's hideaway, but he was not inside. The police said we must find him, we'll search far and wide. Then they came upon a hut, and from it stuck a limb. The sergeant said, surround the hut, I'm sure that that is him. They grabbed his leg and pulled him out, he said, this cannot be. You can't be here, cause if you were, the peacock would have on me. They took him to Wangaratta and put him into jail. And left him there for fifteen years, and this is the end of the tale. The tale of the bush ranger who struck his brown wept. I never would have been taken had not the peacock slept.